Good night, Internet world. I'm Leah E, and I'm Barb Farland here at Crazy Johnny's All Rock and Roll Club on East Bay Street. So, Johnny, why do they call you crazy? Um, <clears throat> I think it's more crazy with spirit, not so much crazy in my head, although if you get to know me, you probably dispute that. I think it's <laughs> more the opposite, but just crazy at heart. So, obviously, this is a rock and roll theme club, bar, lounge. Uh, and you have uh, food as well. So how'd you come up with the rock no, and roll we theme? We used to have food. We don't have oh. food any longer. That was such a uh, unfortunate annoyance that was, I was never able to bring about in a way that wasn't uh, a headache. So we've discontinued food. We got a lot of libation to take care of the in place of the absence of food. Got to enjoy your libations, man. Indeed. You, you like rock and roll. You have actual rock and roll paraphernalia. Rock and roll. I, I, I am rock and roll. I live and breathe rock and roll. Do you play any instruments yourself? Um, I was almost going to say something naughty, but yes, I do. I, I play... <laughs> can we say that? <laughs> I play the drums and I, and I sing as well. I always wanted to play the guitar, but I never was able to, to get that to happen. So I play drums and sing. So you have some themed nights here, especially the karaoke on Wednesday nights, right? Crazy Oki. Crazy Oki. Karaoke with a Crazy Johnny's flair, and that the the <clears throat> the idea behind that is to allow people to be completely unbridled and sing. And I bent the rules a little bit in that regard because I do allow uh, songs with a different theme, you know. But it's in a an environment that it's a. Uh, a big sound on a big screen, two screens, right. and um, top quality uh, audio and visuals so that it's it's not karaoke, it's crazy karaoke. Uh, Guitar Hero on Thursday night, you know, and, and that's where you play the game and there again on the big screen. So it's like, it's, it's a lot of people have that game and play it and really enjoy it, but to be able to play it on a big screen with a big sound. With drinks. And of course, uh, with the libation, you know, it's uh, and 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 in the, in the company of uh, of more people, people that are doing it, so it just adds for a, a more festive occasion. Mm -hmm. Saturday night is live music, and we that's one of the fundamental reasons I opened this club is to be able to perform. I mean, allow a platform that mm -hmm. artists have an area, a platform from which they can perform their 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 art, you know, and and I invite musicians of, of every caliber to come and, and enjoy and, and share with us their talents because when this is gone, I really don't think there is anywhere else that you're going to be able to rock out That's in true. the Bahamas. There's a good energy here. I mean, you have some nice people that come through. I mean, how do you keep up that type of rapport? I, you know what I always, what I try to, what I feel about us here and, and the Crazy Johnny's is a quality place for quality folks. I mean, so much now in this day and time, especially here in Nassau, Bahamas, everyone is like, oh, I don't go out anymore because everyone's living their life in trepidation. They're so afraid to go out, especially with their wives and girlfriends, because um, we've lost our sense of respect as a, as, a, as a community and people don't feel safe, you know? Right. So they're afraid to go out and uh, after dark almost. And, and I think that they are realizing that this is a, a safe haven. That, that, that I've been open two and a half years, have not had any incidents. No, we had one minor little brawl, but no real fisticuffs, no fights, no scraps, no uh, real disregard or disrespect to anyone that's been here. And, and, and I'm really proud to profess that because I honestly don't think any other club can, you know? That's true. So what kind of drink are you going to make for us tonight? To me, it's the ultimate rum and coke. It's always been my favorite. I've been drinking this drink, uh, I hate to admit it, but um, 35 years since I was 17 years old. I know people, she, she doesn't believe me. I'm, I'm 52. I'm Telling stories. Yeah, anyhow, I, started, I discovered this when I was 17, and it's Methuselah, and it was um, refer, or known as the old man, like Methuselah or whatever, but it's Methuselah with Coca-Cola, right? Which is, everyone thinks, oh, that's rum and coke. It is rum and coke, but there's actual science behind what, how I make it, and there's, um, it, it has credence, and I'll explain when we do it why it's, it tastes, it ends up tasting the way it does. Sounds good, let's see what you can do. All right, well, to begin with, I wanna say, of course, I love my Bahama land, I am a patriot, so I'm mixing it in a Turvis tumbler, which is 
to me the ultimate cup to mix it in because it keeps it from melting, right? So you start with your, if you can, you can use any glass, but this is the best glass to use. And this is absolutely the best rum to use. Matuslam, Grand Reserve, 15 year old. The boss, has to be Coca-Cola. No, whatever, but it, Coke is the real thing, you know, so it's rum, Matuslam, and Coke. Ice, important that the ice is clean. So I will rinse my ice off. And the reason people say, well, why does the ice have to be rinsed? Well, if you take a Coca-Cola, especially a hot Coca-Cola, and pour it over ice that's all frosty, it decarbonates really, really rapidly. So when you clean your ice, you avoid that. Cold rum, that's the key right there. Cold rum, cold Coke, clean ice. I personally like to taste my rum, so I generally mix it around 40%, 30-40. That might be a little stiff for some people, but the key is to, like I said, cold Coke, cold rum, clean ice. Most times when you mix a rum and Coke, they take any ice in a cup, hot Coke on ice, half the ice melts. So already you have rum and water diluted, right? Then you take a hot soda, pour it over it, and they usually pour it rapidly, so you end up with more dilution, and the Coke, by the time it's poured, is flat. So you end up with a diluted rum and water and flat Coke, rum, water, and Coke. So, and that's what most people expect a rum and Coke to taste like. But you use cold rum, clean ice, a slow pour. Notice no bubbles. No decarbonation. Now me, because I'm an eccentric, I give it a little shake. Shaken and <laughs> stirred. Right? And I guarantee you, this is, and I want to use the F word, but I won't. The ultimate F and rum and coke. And here we are. Check it out. Tell me what you think. Cheers, honey. Happy New Year. <laughs> That is stiff, but it's really good. <laughs> I'm Leah E, and I'm bar crawling here at Crazy Johnny's All Rock and Roll Club on East Bay Street.